In my last video, I did a review of the new Gemini models, and in today's video, I'll be doing a review of the new Claude Opus 4 and Sonnet 4. And I'll be using the same prompt, so essentially I'm telling it to write an SEO optimized article, but I'm going to also tell it to include custom HTML elements throughout the article, include a table of contents, external links, image prompts, and some other SEO elements to make sure that one, it can follow the instructions and I can compare the output quality with Gemini. So we went ahead and generated the content. As you can see, we are using Claude Opus 4. On the right hand side, we get the artifact, how AI is revolutionizing the mortgage industry. We get a meta description and a title, and we also get keywords and we get the doc type HTML. So this is a table of contents in which we can use introduction and welcome to the future of home buying. Remember the last time you applied for a mortgage, the mountain of paperwork, the endless waiting, the back and forth with your loan officer. Well, imagine if I told you that experience is becoming outdated as a flip phone. I recently helped my sister navigate her first da da da. So we get an image prompt. What exactly is AI in mortgages? Let's break down this in simple terms. Read and understand your documents. Think of AI as the world's most efficient assistant who never gets tired, never makes, makes error and can remember every single rule and regulation perfectly. So as of 2024, here's where the mortgage industry stands with AI adoption because the only drawback to Claude is that it's not up to date. So it's gonna reference 2024 and not 2025. But as you can see here, it looks like it went ahead and created a table. Five key ways AI is changing everything. It definitely looks like it's followed the instructions. It's went ahead and included custom HTML elements. It's writing in a personable um, first person um, format that is not generic. And it's writing specifically on the topic that we gave it. Okay, so it's went ahead and finished the article. And again, we get our image prompts, we get our doc type, and then we get at the end here, some next steps in which we can follow. So to obviously post this, we can copy over the markdown and we can paste this into a markdown to HTML and we can see exactly what it would look like. And the code here makes sure the table of contents works well. And we get a nice quick fact. So this looks really good. I don't think I've seen this before. That looks really good. We get a table. We get some external links here. These tables look really, really good, actually. Wow, this looks awesome, right? So this is a really nice sort of formatting in which we're getting back here. And it's very, very easy to embed within your article and kind of just takes your article up to a new level. So again, here's another uh, HTML element that we get back that is fairly new. But again, this looks really, really good. And then you get your AI mortgage checklist again. And this looks awesome with your external links about this article, quick reference guide, and your conclusion. So I think this is definitely awesome. The content is really good. HTML elements look really, really good as well. Everything looks great. Now let's go ahead and try using Sonnet 4. So I'm gonna copy over the same prompt and just simply enter that into Sonnet 4. But I would say just anecdotally what I've seen from the internet and just using it myself, Cloud Opus is definitely the best, but it is a little bit more expensive. The calls are probably the most expensive for any other AI models, but that's because it's very heavy and it's really, really good. So I would say that maybe you can use Opus for specific content that you're creating, very in-depth pillar content that you want to create, then I would say that would work better. But overall for your everyday writing, Sonnet has been really, really good. I enjoy 3.7, so I would say 4 is going to be even better than that. So I would definitely recommend using Sonnet. My favorite models right now for writing is Sonnet and Gemini. Okay, so Sonnet or Sonnet is writing the content, but as you can see here, there's already a difference. So it is writing the full content in HTML uh, markdown. So it's coding in the full content it looks like with the actual article itself. Now, the main difference is that I told it to write the article with a mixture of text and then a mixture of HTML content. Okay, so this is the full article in which we get back. And again, this is in full HTML element, how AI is revolutionizing the mortgage industry. Now, again, this looks really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not necessarily a blog post. I would say this is more like, you know, if you're designing a page and then this would look really, really good. You can design some pillar pages to look like this. But overall, I still think this looks great. But for me, I would like to have more content. And if I can find a mixture between having HTML elements like this and also my my content making it long and in-depth, then I think that would make a really, really good article. So Sonnet has definitely done something that I think is really, really good. It's created a custom HTML page. Like this is much more engaging than a static blog post. This is more eye appealing. This is more easier to read. It's more skimmable and it looks great, but again, 
I think I would probably enjoy having a little bit more content on the actual page itself. So I would definitely try to find a way to find a middle ground between the two that we got from Opus and we got from Sonnet, because I think using Opus on a day to day basis, especially if you're creating a lot of content, can be a little bit expensive. But overall, I would say this is the difference between the two models. And I got to say, it looks really, really good. Sonnet is amazingly good. And also uh, Opus is really good as well. I am currently in the works of of implementing cloud opus and cloud sonnet 4 into word rocket i've been testing it out and the output quality is really really good we're also working on some other really cool updates the wordpress integration is working we have a lot of other cool things underway and we're just fixing some bugs and some issues that we had in the past from the tool to make sure every time you generate content it will generate content and look really good so hope that you guys enjoyed today's video definitely recommend checking out sonnet and opus uh, if you did enjoy today's video, give us a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.